with the Python programming as well as PowerShell programming. So we have a, some scope of work. So day to day, we have usefully some scenarios to for, perform. So that's all uh, I have. I have a total 11 years of experience in IT and almost 15 years in teaching experience. I am associated with the radical almost eight or nine years approx. Let me walk through about the syllabus and then benefits and everything I, I try to manage, OK? So let me share my screen. Confirm if you can see, OK? Please confirm if somebody can see. Yes, I, I can see it. Yeah, thank you so much for confirmation. I'll walk through you through that, and then we'll take a practical approach of discussion about the framework, what we do, how we do. Okay, let me give you some idea about understanding. Okay, so let me start slideshow before we discuss, you know, technical things. First of all, uh, Python, you all know, it's a programming language, and it is a high level programming language, which is like similar to Java, .NET, and other PHP. Okay, so it is becoming demanded for, you know, day by day, every day. So coming to the next level, uh, Python is very, you know, powerful language for all kind of work day to day we are doing. So first of all, a uh, question come to us like uh, how to become a mastering in Python. Okay, so fulfill these need. Uh, Python is first of all being used as a general purpose, high level programming language. It's not specified like who is working in IT, they can only use this programming. Other than like who is in uh, scientific research, who is in any kind of, uh, you know, automation industry, who is in manufacturing industry, any kind of a body who is working with the technology, they can widely use it, okay? And it is not like a different kind of a coding language. It's simple and uh, very, you know, straightforward English sentence we are writing with. Another one, like uh, it, it is follow the old paradigms, which we say C, C, P, P, Java, dot net like oops concept we are learning and some programming construct if we talk about uh, PLS skill then uh, procedural construct also it is taking care of it so it supp support the whole construct of the development it provide you feature of the dynamic data type system it's mean uh, system will automatically allocate the memory based on the data type or what type of data variable you declare. It will not require like you have to declare integer A, integer B, or kind of a, a character C, or kind of a data type is not necessary. It is automatically managing that. So it, it is really, you know, good way of uh, adjusting the memory management. All libraries, standard library functions are there, which can be fulfill your business need and, you know, context of it. Uh, the official repository of uh, third-party software like Python contains more than 38,000 packages with a wide range of functionality. And day by day, you can use that new development of the Python ecosystem in the library very much available, and that you can continuously keep integrating with the learning of Python script with APIs and libraries. Question come to mind like who can become a part of this mastering of python program who is application application programmer automation engineer tester and system administrator web developer unix or networking like in windows framework so they can become a part of it python for whom actually who is the best audience to learn about it okay so most of the it folks which is you know excel they are learning about into in a demanding language side so which is demanded by your almost most of the client now today's paradigm is not only decided based on that we have to be stick to be cpp java dot net they are more curious to make their performance oriented kind of uh, you know optimized automations and automation come in industry then there are a couple of language being used as a operating system side database side then there is a web server side so how you basically interact then previously we we were talking about then on prem then we were having shell scripting very widely used but now that we are moving towards google cloud azure or any other uh, you know cloud framework then there is just something called you know 
power bi uh, also there is a tool like data visualization need to be maintained all details into automation manner uh, process maintained then there's a powershell being used okay from a windows and there is a python also being used so these two programming language very widely used okay there are certain reason uh, why we go for it python okay first of all python is an open source and cost saving okay and secondly python is relatively with the certain keyword which is having a simple structure clearly defined syntax no complicated code writing we do usually uh, this allowed us to you know uh, pick up the language quickly and uh, relatively we can short period of time we can become an expert into the learning and typing the code of the python Python comes with the large collection of pre-built portable functional functionality known as a standard library. We call it the NumPy, Matplotlib, Pandas, okay, ScienceKit. So which kind of industry you are working integration perspective, though you can get uh, so many functionality available libraries. Python has more than 20,000 modules. Modules, uh, basically we call it the collection of functions. So we do not write uh, by scratch all programs all functions is already there if you really feel there are some functions not available to us then we can define our own functions and package and modules also but majorly you are working with the whatever type of industry they are fulfilled with the old libraries and modules okay now coming to python can uh, run on wide uh, you know, variety of hardwares, okay, and has the same interface on all pl platforms. It means uh, we work with the Python with the uh, like Windows platform also. We can have a Unix system also, and you can say Mac OS also. So setup is available for any platform you want to start with. You can add uh, low level modules. To the python interpreter it it process your code in two way like line by line or page by page the legacy languages you call c cpp they were mostly reading the entire code once and giving the process of the analyzed report of that code works failed or how it is but here it is line by line processing your interpretation of the code into you know translation if you need to understand i'll show you practically then you get a more conceptually things these module enable programmer to add their customizing tool and more efficient process they can do. Anybody have a question on this slide? Am I audible? Yeah, I have a question. If it's interpreter, then the performance size is it better or it's uh... very good question. Interpreter, you may be thinking you are writing a big lengthy code. So thing is like you know we will be validating our code by step by step okay and we move with the multiple modules so all module need to be validated by line by line correct and when you as a fresher starting and you become a, a technical code in terms to data science side or any other web development side so complex code if you do big line of code then you will be difficult to analyze that okay so for you it is a pretty easy to line to line debugging and you will not move forward then definitely your line will stuck then you fix it then you can move to the next level maybe not fully page is occupied with the errors but the particular line where you stuck you fix it then the entire line will be executing the purpose of telling you line by line process and an interpreter concept like my 10 line of code is there line number five is integrated with the error then system will not move forward one to four line will execute fifth will stuck and then sixth will not execute because you found an error and this error you fix then only uh, six to ten error free code is there but still it is stuck because of next level you can't move so you fix and then entire code will run okay make sense so performance wise it is better if you are doing the complicated coding okay got it second thing uh, we are working within python though not to more complicated and you know very uh, very structural programming we do we mostly calling api and api itself is being called then it is parameterized and that's parameterized uh, things will be automatically doing the background uh, background processing so the code is very simple 
and uh, calling function and doing some research very simple very limited code can do a lot of work what you usually do in other programming with multiple line of code so that's what compact coding and getting more output research okay so that way it is if you are reading a file writing the data uh, doing some visual presentation doing some uh, processing of numerical calculation so you should not be required a five line five or a ten pages code it's a one to five ten line code is enough to manage so that's what easy approach to fix the scenario hope I answer your question yeah uh, i okay. think maybe i'll get it in the future classes more so I yeah yeah, more that's, that's, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, that's fine now yeah. okay anybody else have a question Okay, no one have a question, then good to move. Okay, one of uh, important, uh, have you heard about the web development work like PHP, MySQL, .NET, SQL Server, there's a .NET framework, we mostly developing web portal, Java also, along with certain web services, right? But Python itself integrate with the Django framework, which is mostly taking care of the all kind of a Python web frameworks and development of app and you know websites. So not only that Python can work for the automation, it work with the uh, website development work also. And it, it is supporting your web scarping, like reading data from any database, well-known scenario, reading data from file and any data files, we know with the operating system scenarios, correct? File handling things, we also know in C programming. But then coming to this uh, web scarping is the scenario like you have a portal, called a website okay like amazon website is there you want to read the products detail and products price products uh, details is uh, like in images you want to capture you want to you know taking their uh, rate or you know uh, best discounted prices offers and everything you want to capture and keeping in your database so it is mostly uses of ui based thing and keeping into so you need an understanding of html also HTML, if you're aware of it, then you can read the uh, parsing your in HTML code and keep your database fulfilled with the details. Not only we reading data from data file, Excel or CSV or PDF, etc. You can also read the web pages, which is running from the any web, you know, website. Okay. But you have to take a permission if you are doing so, because whenever you is hitting your script through this automation point of view, then maybe your uh, that uh, like website owner can block your script so that's also very much essential okay that's very good example we cover into the our syllabus okay okay who uses python you heard about python is widely used right so coming to that your scenario uh, google makes extensive use of python in web search okay so whenever you do google search work then system itself telling you intelligence of like what you are looking for today and it is understanding the pattern of what you do how you do and it is taking care of the such algorithm what kind of a content you usually like so python is best way of doing so okay the person who developed python created and developed this python language that guy name is guido van rossum he's also usually work with the google and what is the best industry python is using youtube where you see the shared services of the large amount of uh, videos you can see some kind of a tutorial videos contents now you say seeing the lot of trending videos are running on youtube or people like very much so they are usually designed and maintained by python programming only now coming disney also uses the python for their created creative processes mozilla Mozilla is one of community which is developing for web kind of uh, DLLs and libraries, which is integrating with the plugins and developing all kind of uh, web framework things. And Python is contributing their exploring extensive code for any kind of, uh, you know, open source package you want to deploy or using from Python side. Dropbox, it is a community of uh, sharing the file through the, you know, how you share the details towards google drive same way dropbox is also a community where you can keep the file and share it to someone and they can download so this is also well maintained into the uh, python programming so guido is working here in this community the popular BitTorrent, where peer-to-peer -peer file sharing that's also taking care of python programming 
Intel, Cisco, HP, Seagate, Qualcomm, IBM. They are the sum of hardware manufacturer. So they usually taking care of the testing of their hardware component, like scanning their devices, speed and uses and storage and timings. So they do testing of hardware using Python. JP Morgan, UBS, GetGo, Citadel, these are some of financial market which is taking care of the market indexing and you can say banking domain or investment banking so they also need to understand the forecasting kind of a features so they also using python in their development framework nasa lab alamos jpl python is using towards scientific research programming irobot uses to develop the commercial robotic and vacuum cleaners related devices NASA uses their cryptocurrency, cryptography, and crypto-related services and intelligence kind of you know analysis work for Python only. Now coming to the you know syllabus part, what we cover into syllabus, which you make a more understanding about the different uh, paradigms like uh, it can be code scripting, understanding the fundamentals of writing code, then becoming a expertise library uses database connectivity and handling different kind of a file structure and different uh, data file collections we want to use so i can take you there so let me take you through the syllabus of the uh, this particular scenario then i can go for further things so you already gone through the link maybe are you aware of the web uh, like radical website link where the syllabus is already shared to you hello Yeah, I have gone through. Okay. Others? No, okay. Let me take you there first. I have some app link, so let me delete it. So if you go to the prescripting section, there is a, some syllabus they have mentioned, like uh, Python scripting. In this, what contents we cover that I can highlight you. You may be aware of it and that a grid syllabus to cover your most of contents. It is available here. OK, so the overview part is provided and uh, mostly like syllabus, we talk about core programming. OK. In the scripting perspective so what is python brief idea about python where should i use how to install how to execute a basic program using some command line jupyter notebook then we go to this uh, variable data type so all kind of a variable how we tackle and understanding of the different collections called list set tuple dictionaries we also covers like your control structures in followed by if if else else if while loop for loop control structure with the un uh, you can say continue break pass statement defining our own modules and uh, some small small functions which is not available from the module library or any community though we can define our own functionality and those function we combined in a one of uh, you know file that file known as a python dot py py extension we call it as a module and we have a lot of predefined modules also to use like uh, we can call it as os module system module statistic random argument parsing mathematics we working with the power powershell then powershell module also there so all commands which we use as a using as a command which is available as a function to work with then we develop our own package and how we can handle the use cases which is available to cover up okay we also work with the class object concept okay we we use usually take care of the oops concept terms to class defining class defining object defining different you can say inheritance method of writing data hiding who can access data who can note private public protected scenarios okay we can also cover your file exception handling writing data from file reading data from file handling try catch exception scenario 
how to deal with the errors okay if in runtime code is coming how to log into the file then we have a project work after completion of the core scripting part then we take care of the development of a work so what all step you take care of the working on that side then we move forward with the data science analysis side also data analysis of the data which you are playing around in excel file getting a research done it can be statistical manner it can be uh, summarize it, it it may be narrative data we want to play around so we use two uh, libraries which is called numpy and uh, pandas library so what all numpy do it is processing your single dimension two dimension matrices vector arrays kind of uh, discussions we do how we do how do you pull the data in form of indexing slicing okay that kind of library covers your entire learning of this then we move to pandas library how to install it how to use different data framework different series how to do the data aggregations concatenation appending data frame joining data frame handling missing data okay so that kind of the scenarios it covers we also play around with certain you know data loading file with the storage perspective and it can be using web scarping. It is using certain uh, SDFS binary files, reading, writing them, okay? And certain tables, certain PDFs, how to handle them so that we work. Python handles regular expressions, like uh, somebody is working in SL scripting. So grab, awk, we, we have some wildcards. Similarly, how we deal with the data to perform, so regular expression with the matching search, uh, selecting, displaying. So all wildcards support you into a regular expression kind of package. We talk about that. Then we take a connectivity with the database framework. Like there are some connectivity we do the SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle SQL, Postgres. So we take care of one of them. We can guide you for the other one also, which is you using in your scenario. How to handle if you understand one of them then there is a what all different operations we do we cover up your that scenario also so this way we cover another project on that basis of the syllabus okay so we can connect with the database how to create a database table inserting data displaying analytical reports and disconnect from database with the automation script how we can develop so any kind of a scenario we can cover okay so three way how do we do i tell you okay let me make a line thicker one is python as a script it's mean you develop a code into a file okay and having like extension dot py so my file will be having a name demo dot py in this context what you do you run as a you know python as a command to run your demo.py we can directly call our script into any uh, couple of programs this is what you do second scenario is calling command window in this command window your prompt will be look like this triple uh, greater sign it's mean you can write your python code over here and you can work over there third is coming as an anaconda in this, we have a Jupyter notebook. This notebook will show you all kind of a Python code in the shell. And when shell will run, it show output below the shell. Again, shell will come. You write your code. Again, again, new line keep coming. The benefit of Jupyter notebook is whatever code you write for a one line or seven line or 20 line, it can conclude the result over here and displaying result also. And if you are playing around with the website work and any kind of a data presentation, data visualization, so we cannot enjoy more about in Python script in command window. So we usually do all analysis work into this framework only. So Anaconda is a community provide you to run the Jupyter notebook. So here my community is like this one. Okay, here what I want to do, I can manage everything. Suppose I have to run the code into Python as a script. So I don't need a Python separately download, but I kept for you to understand. First, let how we interact with the command window. So here, if I write a code, 
it will not simply take a print command which i used to work with the uh, printf function right it is having separate code and style which we usually uh, follow it doesn't work like that it give me error it doesn't understand like printf is a some defined function so what we can do i can take a up arrow and get an output get an uh, inputted code and i take a print as a command and displaying as a result so my result is displaying okay so command uh, line will be giving me response of the data which code i am writing response will come below there okay so here i can perform like declaration of any variables like i do so okay equal to 20 i do c equal to a plus b it keep giving me output of that and if i do print of capital c so it is sensitive python programming is sensitive with the other programming like shell or you know so it is sensitive in terms to the variable c you didn't declare because you declared the variable was a small letter it is not capital letter if you're willing to have a data to show with the c yeah your variable is still right and you get an output then after you feel like what kind of a data we are declaring here a equal to 10 b equal to 20 why not we specify like integer a comma b comma c that's classical style c programming we supposed to do now this is syntax not recognized and how python is dynamically behaving with it so i'll tell you when you're declaring a equal to 10 and then print type what data type it is using it it confirm us it is coming from class integer okay if i declare b as a uh, 10 point uh, 20 point 50 pesa though it, it declare my variable b is not coming as an integer it coming as a float class okay if i define any variable c equal to hello the set of characters known as a my class would be string if i say d equal to true then it comes in the blue or uh, you know boolean class that is what already defined library which automatically interpret the data and understand what data type it is belongs to hope you clear with it okay so this platform is command line you keep doing the research work here same work if i do and do very impressive manner though i i exit from here it is saying you can't simply exit it gives you control z plus return and exit need to be in like a function and there you can exit from the uh, command line now i tell you what if in case you define a code in a simple text editor and now that code as having a file extension as a dot py how can you run so i need to launch my command prompt here which can run my code okay so anaconda is an independent community which is providing the industry like a whole kind of integrated development environment tools so one of them jupyter is there powershell prompt is there data lore is there and uh, jupyter lab and qt console spider they they all can be launched from this one platform no need to install separate thing even the visual studio code also you can manage from here only you should not install everything in your local keep it in the, on top of, of this anaconda community itself giving you so let do one thing i have to run my you know uh, python based command window so let go here i'm launching this command window first for you Here you see my command window look like a MS-DOS window. I do PWD. You know PWD is the Linux command. But it is not a recognized command into DOS mode. You all know, right? So I do DIR. Then I come to know certain files. I can see the list over there. Even though if I try the LS command, then LS is also not recognized command. You all know Linux command versus this guy called... Uh, those commands are not same to same few commands are recognize a common command so how to create a file as a uh, something called you know in those okay so let me create a copy con as a file i keep a demo dot a uh, demo is uh, like today's demo 2022 uh, 301 and date is this i give a py extension why because i want to write the python code let put it the file containing with the print
This is confirmation giving us like code over. Okay, we compl completed this. This file we control Z. We control Z, then we save the file. This file got, you know, saved. And I can just cat command. So we use type, and we can use uh, the code what we have written, so that you can come to know. This is the code you have written. Now, how you run this? That's I can say Python, and I can use my demo two zero two three, and tab key. And I got a code execution now. It is processing my code. Hello, students. Lining is coming. Code over. That's all. Copy, uh, copy paste of code you do in a simple .py file. It will run. All syntax error deduction will be prompted here and displayed here. But here, there is a no code because we write a basic code. So you can run a Python as a script also. Now I'll take you there to understand a Jupyter notebook. In this Jupyter notebook, it is very useful and fulfilling our old kind of a Linux command also. We are coming from Linux community, shell scripting, and kind of a work. So this Anaconda community developed most of the features based on uh, Linux shell scripting. OK, so let me take you there. It is launching in a web browser, and it is very user-friendly kind of a tool. Anybody have a question so far? Uh, my organization, we are using PyCharm. Uh, is it something uh, PyCharm is also an integrated development for Python, so it is on you like which ID you want to prefer. Okay, yeah, that's what uh, shall I use that also from beginning? You can use it? anything, you can use anything. Okay. Ultimately, code will be executed by Python interpreter only, right? You will be handy with the working with PyCharm, we can use that also, no problem. But I hands on with this. Why I'll tell you the reason, okay. Okay, so I have to create a file to somewhere in a folder as a local. So I'll teach you how to do so. So suppose you see, uh, this is uh, shows me folder structure as per my local Windows folder. Okay, so I go to downloads. Okay, I go to documents. This is my document folder. Okay, so I go to here. Okay, I'll show you the folder structure how it's look like. So you should not be surprised what kind of folder it is taking. It is taking document like this guy, and inside that I go to my demo. Python demo. So this folder, if I go to here into this, same way I can find here into you know Python demo. And I want to create a new Python file here, which is which is known as a you know Jupyter notebook. So you have a new button here. You click to Python and click the name of py file, a renaming perspective. So where it is opening, here it is running to do. So I can rename as a Python file a demo two zero two three. 0, 01 and then we begin here today's date. That's it. Okay. The beautiful reason to test this particular scenario. This will include code also. This will include a HTML code also. This include a simple text also. And kind of a work reason. So uh, I was saying, like, you know, the cell which is look like a blue. Okay. This is our color. Okay. When I click to this shell, it becomes green. I write print command. To show you hello friends so i need to be fulfilling this string into the single code or double code you can use that also having some you know substitution benefit of the single code double code where we should use now coming to print hello world can be written me result of it now i'll take care of it how python works as a line by line i have to print a command uh, let me declare a variable first of all Okay, I print A, I print B, I print C. Unfortunately, I'm keeping you to surprise like uh, D equal to A plus B plus C and print D equal to the final conclusion. And now you see there are eight line of code. My code will not stop me uh, till this. C will be the blocker for me. I run the code. I see my code stuck over there. Now you say, sir, why it is 10, 20, 30 is not getting pr uh, printed? It is because of these uh, declaratives, just declaring. It is not to display. Print command is displaying, but C get over, and there is a stuck. And then rest command ignore to process. C is not defined. I fixed it in the new line. Copy. 
so I go down. I keep the things as a simple. My code doesn't have a new moral errors. Then system process my result and displaying accordingly. So this way, it can take care of anything. Second thing, uh, Python is not similar to other programming to fully uh, capturing the, you know, uh, if you're working in a C programming, though, usually write uh, if, if I do true, then whatever code, if I write, this is the classical structure of a snippet you write, you know, print uh, and something, correct? And we go to else, though, again, I need to take a block of this, right? This is the C program you usually do. But here in this uh, programming structure, you can't. If, if you run in this, it will be definitely give you error. OK, see, here is a syntax error. It doesn't recognize that. So what I do, if, if in case such kind of error comes, so in this particular snippet, I want to save as a Python code. I can't keep it. If, if I take a code like this, keeping like this, and if I go to cell type, then I have a three way of keeping this code. OK code python which is executing and managing also markdown if i do markdown it's mean it become an explanatory note for me see when i keep it explanatory note then it will be losing the indentation part see it become a one liner now you say sir no 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 i don't want to write like a paragraph i want to keep it as like a uh, you know uh, same signature what it is just playing zigzag of the coding style so how can i do i go to here i do row and we convert so my code will filling as a simple explanatory note but it won't lose the uh, style like it is having a space child element parent element sibling like that it keep maintaining so how do we write the python code in if condition so we go here we write true we write a colon then we write print and then we write a message. Hello, guys. If I take the else part, then I take again colon. Here I write bye, guys. Okay. Now, hello, guys is coming as a message. Now you say, sir, how come this condition become true? Because ideally, what you do, a equal to ten, b equal to ten. Oh, sorry. Your value will be process. If I take a formula or an expression to display to derive a double equal to b, then it's mean a or b value are same. Yes, then it will be reproduced true. True will be there. Then hello guys. Now how I make a surprise in this case? Let keep those value again in next line and keep twenty. And then you put it the value. It become a false. False means else your code will be giving. Bye guys. And if you are confident to write your blog, OK, you can make a simple scenario. If there is a keyword not, OK, not true, it is nothing but a false. And false means else blog need to execute, it need to follow. If you will be working in a Python, you should not be ignoring these spaces. Then if you're doing so, system will give you indentation error. So as I told you, you know, in a C programming, other places you use curly bracket and figure out how to map code, display code. So things don't support here. So you will be getting indentation error. So be careful if your expression you're writing need to be end with the more child items. So colon need to be performed. Then child item will come below that. Sibling will come again, same code. And then that way we keep doing. Any questions? So that will take care on that uh, tool itself? Like a Yeah, a tool itself. Yes, okay. in this tool itself, it's taking care of it. Yeah, but so in I didn't get, yeah, uh, this yeah. is fine. I think if tool take us, but still, yeah. I didn't get that uh, the previous one. The can you go up in nine or in eight, something like that? Yeah, yeah, this line number eight. Uh, no, the previous one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, five, five. Yeah, how okay. it's again? Uh, hello, guys. How it's printed? Hello, guys. What is that? Uh, what is the logic behind that? Okay. So yeah. ultimately, you you keep an expression or the real problems, right? So yeah, real Some real problem will be there. Okay, if true huh? means no, he's saying if true means hello guys. But what Correct. is it we are checking if true? That's what I don't get it. Okay, okay. How how true get validated? Correct. Yes. Okay. So ultimately, you write an expression. Okay, variable checking boolean. Okay, like I keep a is a value, b is a value. Correct. 
Correct. When when we compare A or B, then some value will come either either it will be true or false. Correct. Exactly. So what will happen if you go with the true? Then true will be immediate line executing. Correct. Yes. Or false will be the second else wall part. Yeah. Correct? If not uh, true, if, then the if false. not true, then it yeah, goes to why else? So yeah. here, let assume I will be getting otherwise, uh, you know, true or false. So it is not necessary like I need a right expression. I can write a keyword like false also. Then I get output. To understand the keyword, to understand the mechanism, how it work. OK. So keyword you can mention. True means true is not directly uh, coming. It come derived from the expression. And expression can be A value will be equal to B. Then true will come or uh, false will come. But I tell you indentation part, then let assume some code if i write like this or i i write like or and uh, a double equal a not equal to like this okay ideally uh -huh. i am writing a formula right yeah or comparison conditions uh, you write this guy or you write this guy they are same okay conclusion okay. will be true or false only when okay. you do any kind of a logical scenario no matter how big expression it is when it calculate it derive either true or false and basis of my code will be taking a decision which side i have to exit like <coughs> print hello guys or print uh, bye guys like that hope you understood okay. yeah uh, some more actually not uh, 100% okay okay L let me make you understand oh, okay so uh, the real problem is you have an amount of 100 rupees in your uh, purse okay wallet okay uh -huh. Now you want you want to buy some you know stuff okay that stuff how can you make it if it is hundred rupees then only you can buy it yeah the equality of the value will be matching then you can do the transaction exactly yeah that's mean true okay or what if in case I I I know you have a hundred rupees with you so this guy called you this is called transaction amount hundred ten rupees suppose correct now yeah. if if your amount will match with the T amount, then we can say we purchase the item, correct? Yeah, yeah, we can just put uh yeah, print something like that. Else we purchase. put that. Uh -huh -huh. Yeah, I got this one, uh, Deepak. See, uh, but uh, the black if you put that uh, without the condition, right? Yeah. If true, then print hello guys. Else print uh, how does it work? I don't get it. I know. It's okay, okay. Up... Let, let me make you. This is the if block you understood. Let yeah, yeah. This one it... I understood actually. See. This yes, is yes. Simple. Let me make you a double equal to t. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see this expression now? Yeah. What it gonna do now? Uh, which means it's false actually. It is a boolean check. Okay. Correct. Exactly. Or if I keep a, a equal to a or um, suppose so if condition will be evaluating the code true or false only oh okay, is it just, okay it, this yeah. is just a condition check it's a true yes. or false it will say so if hmm. it is okay okay you you can write a big formula also you can write a simple true also so via true which thing need to execute via false which thing need to execute that you have to compensate that's it Okay, uh, maybe I can just uh, play around with that actually. Yeah. Yes, yes. It is yeah. also concept clearance. Like, I don't know today's value. Suppose what will happen? You got a ticket. Okay. You are reserving ticket. What's your plan in the ticket book? Then, then you will be traveling somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. What if, in case you could not able to book the ticket, then you, what is your else part? You have a two possibility. You confirmly booking ticket, yeah, then you will be traveling. That. Yeah, correct. So what you yeah. go with the true section, what you go with the false section, that is what I want to tell you here. I don't want to get into the scenario like maybe you got uh, stuck with the ticket booking. Then I have a simple choice: either true, then go with this; either false. System checking with the I/O. I/O means we switch on, switch off the TV. Correct? There is a zero or one will be validated okay there are some basic basic fundamentals are there which will be clear no then you will understand the programming correct exam very carefully okay okay got it. Yeah. so that way there are so many uh, surprises codes are there now you understood like usually we have a bit of writing if condition with the formula but formula will be also coming with the conclusion is a true false only right 
why not i judge my code or test my code with the true section i want these because someone have to write a formula this formula is not ready with that guy why should i stop my code for without you know uh, release it some tomorrow suppose this formula is, he identified and conclusion coming true false so this is what we do the testing of the scenarios isn't okay. it okay. Yeah. somebody say if response like i take care of uh, you have taken a loan things sometime any loan kind of a home loan you go and then they check your civil score do you know that yes let again a civil score server is not responding you there will be two responses okay one response your score will come otherwise failure will come so what message you want to show the end user if response coming as a correctly uh, the value will be greater than zero no response we can say negative number will come negative number come we could not able to find that message need to give try after some time or if it is coming greater than uh, uh, zero, uh, then I can take care of the response came for your score. I can display you, correct? So kind of a coding we can do. Hope you clear. Okay, let me introduce for uh, some beautiful uh, fact of learning about HTML. Being in this particular shell area, I can beautify my notes. I can beautify my code or display my results according to that. Like I have to show a table content over here. Like shell is showing me as a green color. Okay, this green color is for Python code. If I want to shell as a type as a markdown, then it become a free text, and free text can be write into a table format. Table, you know, in HTML, table is nothing but a, a collection of row and column. And I want to show you some HTML code also. Okay, so I take a name of persons and details. So we do table heading. Okay, so table heading is a name of candidate. Then uh, TS means table heading. Okay, then I take a mobile number. I'm sorry, I have to take a th. You are aware of my uh, HTML things? Anyone? From what? Yes. Okay, so here I go to tr. Okay. I tr means table row. And then I fulfill the name of person. So how technically I designed the basic simple test. And you know, uh, when you're working with the table or things, though, you cannot only work with the Python code. You can also integrate your, uh, you know, HTML code also or CSS also. I'll show you that. Suppose I have to take a name of Sri Hari, okay? This is table data, and I take another repetition of the data like uh, TD, and second mobile number is double eight double seven double six double five double four. Like this is the number, and I close the TR. This is one row I developed and displaying result like name and Sri Hari, okay? Now I go and do the more data to add, copy paste the TR, and there you can understand the coding style. Like I have to see another name like uh, uh, you can say Abhishek. This is what I can change the number. So it is it is taking care of uh, that kind of a things you can manage. Running the code. HTML code can display you here. Okay, any kind of a code you play around, that's also you can deliver, you know, deliver with that. Okay. That way it is all kind of a scenario fulfill. You want to bullet point here to notes perspective. So I like this is first item. Okay. So LI can be covered as a list of items. I can create. Okay, that also scenario you can fulfill. Now it is saying this is not a Python code. Obviously, this is not. So how to change the cell type? You go to cell, you click to type, and make as markdown. And then you click to markdown, then it become a purely HTML or explanatory node. So bullet point will automatically come. Okay. Now by default, cell will be in a Python code only. Now you say, sir, can I play around with the operating system module? Yes. If I want to run some command related to some command is automatically interpreted, like which path we are working, PWD, what file we are seeing, this one. Now you say, can I move to the uh, C drive to D drive file? Yes. So what I need, I need an import of OS. Okay. I can go to import OS, OS.chdir. Okay. There's a function. 
if i go then ch if i type and type key then function will show me availability okay so i want to move to d colon like this now i do pwd this time it is not showing c drive where i moved i'm into the d drive what i can do i can get a list of files okay so this way we automating uh, any tool when we have to move to any directory we have to locate any file now you see said can i can i go to directory things like uh, which file deepak okay this is the directory how can i change directory to deepak so usually we use the single slash the backward one okay so here i can use double slash okay i tell you the reason why we do so in the upcoming session so pwd it shows me deepak folder we are and ls it shows me file and directory available under the deepak okay so that's some files we can search okay any question any queries hey guys are you good no i am clear in this yeah so so here is the thing like how we interact like you say sir can i go back to my original path yes when you did pwd then you were showing the uh, result like this okay so i i want to go with the same path then i use this copy paste of the path folder uh, path location i can do os.csdir i i can go to here and that's it i do i can get a change uh, like ls can show me the old commands and i want to read file i want to write file everything i can do this play around with okay i can write my code with any scenarios we are working with okay so there are some small small codes are there and understand the tricks understand the fact and then get a conclusion values how we develop with okay thank you all for uh, attending the demo have a good day bye bye